What's this? Go to a local skate park and move. <laughs> You're twisting me up, man. What's that? Go to a local skate park and talk thunks with uh, Dan Squire. Let's do it. So yeah guys, just thought we'd come to uh, Hyde Park in Leeds, massive skate ramp as you can see in the background. There's loads of people doing loads of mad tricks. Don't ask me to skate, because I'm not skating. But yeah, welcome back to Eric's with me, Dan. It's not, is it? Welcome back to Eric's with me, Danny. <laughs> You're Dan. And we're going to get Dan in today because we're going to be talking about not just showing the dunks that we've got in the box here, we're going to be talking a little bit about recent releases. So come on, then you come, man. He's a bit nervous, all right? So <laughs> Not going to face the camera. And, and, and we're alright social distancing now, aren't Only we? Because meter, we can, is it a meat? I think it's even less than a meter, it's alright, but no tongues is all we're going to say on this one. So yeah. Fat can, tongues on this one, isn't it? So fat. Hey, that's me, I'm out. Fat tongues, <laughs> that's it, you can go now. So yeah, we're talking uh, night dunks and we said, right, as you saw in the picture last week, me and Dan both pick up the night ACGs. So I was like, right, we'll put something on, you've actually, well, he's rocking them today. I'm rocking the safaris. Great uh, choice. Well, there's a reason why. There is a reason why I put them on today, which yeah. we'll get into. Well, I also had them on this morning before I got your text saying camo pants and safaris. <laughs> so I had to get changed. <laughs> Someone's had camo shorts on and safaris. I had the camo pants on and safaris. So as much as we wanted to twin up, we'll just show you the box because they come out. Whoa, I'm going to fall down here. They come in the, um, in the new GR box. What were we saying about the GR box, the purple box? I like it. I like it more than the stripes and the, then the quick stripe one. You know, there's, there's been a few bad SB boxes for me, but there's been some crap ones. Keep, keep aren't it there? simple. I really like the colour, and then obviously like normal, you get the woodcut paper in there. I'm not going to keep jumping up and down to check these bad boys out. Hopefully that's in focus because it what's it likes to do? It likes to focus on my face. What's on about these? I love them. The ACG colourway is amazing anyway on most shoes. So I'll be honest, some of the ACG, like the technical shoes, yeah. I don't particularly like the technical shoe itself, yeah. but the colourway and the yeah. and the apparel yeah. always bangs, don't they? The, the apparel killing it at the minute. Some of the stuff in like kit is amazing. Yeah, yeah, yeah. On the uh, technical shoes, the silhouettes are for me. No, no. Well, and I, colourways. I get it, some people like those runners, don't they? And, and they'll wear them either casually or even to go out, but it's just not for me. And also, if you can't hear us, then we do apologise and we'll film this in another day. I'll be the first <laughs> one with subtitles. Yes, yeah, subtitles. <laughs> Have you ever watched YouTube with subtitles? No. YouTube no. tries to pick up the Yorkshire accent with subtitles and completely, <laughs> it doesn't do it at all. It doesn't pick it up. But yeah, I'm just going to show some of the details and then we'll go through. <laughs> just want to show you. Check out, obviously we've got purple suede around the thing. We've got suede toe box as well on there. Yellow laces, and you get an alternate pink laces. What we're saying, Dan, yellow or pink? Yellow for me. Some people put pink in. It's rare I ever change a lace in a shoe, to be honest. Well, I've got to say on these, I've just realized you get the green laces in the Chunky Dunkies. Yeah. So I might drop the green laces in these. See, black, black for me still. Still black. Obviously you get the nice, come on folks on there, come on. Obviously the tongue tag. Uh, the Nike on the back, and what I particularly love is the speckled midsole on these. I think they look class. And the yellow pop on the bottom, yellow insole, you can see it. Ooh, man, I need a smaller ramp. So <laughs> <laughs> I know you all go on about my height, but I do need a smaller ramp. Yeah, these were just a must pick up for me. Yeah. I mean, there's been a few GRs out lately that I've not even bothered with. Um, the Hennessy. Hennessy or Muslim, it's the same shoe. Oh, yeah, it's the same shoe. Yeah, yeah. The same shoe. Oh, the, uh, the laser oranges. Did yeah, you get those? No, missed, like, well, chose to pass on those again. Nice colourway, but I wouldn't, I wouldn't get around to wearing them. No, same for me, and it's getting to a stage now, there's so much, so if we'd have gone back like two years or so, when there wasn't that many good SP colourways yeah. coming out, 100% I'm grabbing those laser oranges. But at the minute, one reason why we brought Dan in is just to talk about how mad it is at the minute. There's just so many. Yeah, this year has been incredible for SP. Dunks. Absolutely amazing. I mean, <clears throat> what's so? What's your favourite then? Out of everything that's dropped, well, what is it that? As much as I'll sound like a hype beast, it's the Travis Scott. Is it the Travis that Scott? Shoe is the shoe of the year so far for me. It'll is take it? something special. To I mean, obviously, I love the Travis Scott. The one thing, and I've said it plenty of times, is 
I almost wish it wasn't Travis Scott. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? The colourway just and everything is so good. It's just the hype. I almost feel it because it was Travis Scott, it elevated the hype. Yeah, no doubt. Do you know what I mean? For me, so I love the strange loves. I do love the strange loves. That is a horrible <laughs> shoe. <laughs> because I just because it because it's a bit out there, do you know what I mean? A bit. <laughs> anyway, you know what I mean? Like the chunky donkeys, they're out there. But in terms of pure colourway, these for me. Yeah, I can't knock them there. If, if, if you if you take all the hype and if you take all the kind of stuff aside, I think the safaris are, are the ones. These are actually very close as well for yeah. me. The, 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 thing, the thing with these two though is they are brilliant shoes. I, I feel like you could put the ACG colorway on, the Safari colorway on, 90% of silhouettes True. and make a great shoe. Yeah, 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 yeah. Whereas the Travis Scott just works and it's different. No, no, no. I, so. I think one of the beefs I have about it all is because I wanted two pairs because I would, I'd love to have torn away yeah. a pair. But I think the, I know some people have done it, but I think the upper on, without it being torn away, I think the upper just looks so good. Yeah. So I, I, I don't want to ruin my pair, because once you take it off, you can't put it back on without paying whatever the resell is at the yeah. minute. Is that about a grand on them or something? Oh, no idea, but I know what you mean. You just wouldn't pay it. Okay. Yeah, yeah, exactly. The only thing I'm a, a little bit disappointed, or I'm not too disappointed, so I don't really rock high tops, is they're all lows coming out, aren't they? There's not been that many <coughs> high tops where you think, I need those. There was the friends and family skunk, but oh. that was, untouchable you're not you're yeah. just not getting it unless you're nate i can't believe you've got a pair nate that just blows my mind what, what, what a guy what doesn't nate have well what doesn't nate have and then obviously the strawberry coughs do you yeah. like those um i like them to look at wouldn't wear them wouldn't wear them yeah and i don't really rock highs high tops to be honest but i'd go for the strawberry coughs just because they're a little bit different uh, i like the the like the clear sole that shows the green and the red through the sole i think i like i kind of like that yeah but yeah, I just wish to bring, I don't rock high tops, but I think for the general SB community, I think they need to be bringing out <laughs> seagulls. Seagulls, in the middle of leaves, what's going on? Although I did see a red kite before. Um, yeah. yeah. Bird knowledge. <laughs> but yeah, I was saying, yeah, I think, they, I think they could do with bringing out some more high tops and some GR high tops as well. Not for me, but just as a, just to spread the love a little bit, because there's loads of lows coming out. I think on dunks though, without it being SP, there's some good highs coming in just a dunk. Don't yeah, yeah, yeah. Some like Michigan's coming back, I think, and a few of those like that, which look really good. And so I'm picking off. <laughs> How rude of people be going to hospital when we try to film a video. And just on that, yeah, so this massive dunk SP hype, which I'm all over, and I've been collecting dunks for God knows, even before I started getting... So when did it start getting cool again? Like, hype cool? I was saying Tiffany's. I was like going to say... Black Diamond release, White Diamond release. It's a tough one, isn't it? Because going back a few years on SB, they just started to do loads of reissues. And the Tiffany yeah, yeah, High yeah. came out. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then the next Tiffany Low. And there was loads of, you know, De La Soul. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Low, mix, mixing. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I don't feel like it had the hype. No, the, no, the no. The got the hype, didn't it? Yeah, yeah, the yeah, odd one, but... But I, I honestly, I really don't feel like it really got the hype until Virgil and Travis started wearing them, as sad as it I'll is. You, I'll, <laughs> tell you, I'll tell you the one that, and, and I don't know how I did this, but I won the Black Pigeons on size, and I got them delivered to store when you worked in, and, and picked them up from there. And that was, that's when, for me, that's when it started coming back. I'd already bought a few dunks before that, but I thought they were really easy to pick up. And that was the first dunk in a while where I thought, Man, that's really tough to try and grab. The Elsa's just rocked up, uh, smoking. <laughs> but yeah, when the black dunk came, black pigeon dunk came out, yeah. that started off again, where I where I started noticing. And then when the yellow yellow uh, diamond came out at complex, complex yeah. and it just went nuts at complex, didn't it? Matt Well, yeah, I can't believe you didn't pick me up a pair. Man. And then it's just been mad since. Hasn't it? Yeah, so, it's, this year especially, this year especially has been non-stop. You yeah, know, yeah. last year, I think 2019 was a decent year. Yeah, yeah, Especially yeah. Especially with, like, there was the Jordan one. Um, yes, SP, the which was Lakers. Amazing. Yeah, the Lakers one was the one. Because, again, I think last year with the retros, like, the Lobster was a really big one. There was yeah, yeah. The, another the black, the black and white Panda Pigeon, yeah. which, again, is kind of like that. a the issue. Yeah, so. Powers. I love the Powers. Yeah, Did you pick them up? Good, great shoe. Because I, I love the shape on the Powers. It's just too white. So you never want to wear them. For me. I just wear mine when I go on dates, you see. <laughs> well, I got lots of dates for some people, so if you're lucky. But yeah, the, the hype at the minute is just 
it makes it difficult like for us we're both in the nike sb collectors uk group and there's people that are missing out because right like, we're lucky because we live in leeds and welcome get everything so it's easy to go to welcome and and, and pick stuff up for us and constantly check that email for the mailing list. constantly <laughs> check that email make sure the mailing list is not dropping in your uh, in your junk uh, and then you've got a chance to pick them up but yeah for people that maybe are a bit more remote i know friends who live on the south coast or they live in like sheffield or, and they've just not got that place where we can rock up to it and, and, and Happen, to be honest. Well, Sheffield, it's funny you say that because Slugger used to be amazing for Nike SB. And if you don't know the story of why they don't do Nike SB no, anymore, I don't, look I don't. it up. Right, it's one of the okay. best Nike SB stories in the UK really? ever. Really? Yeah, it's brilliant. I don't know because I knew, I, knew, I knew it was there. And then yeah. I knew it, I knew, then I knew it wasn't there, but I don't know. Yeah, no, I don't know like, the story. Real good guys in Slugger and great star. Right. But, what a, what a story, what they is that, is that an off the camera? Uh, <laughs> let me know off the camera. Just look it up. So yeah, let us know what you think about these in the comments down below because I, I think they're one of the best colorways, GR or Quick Strike. And even these are classes of GR that came in a GR box. I'm kind of trying to what were the Quick Strikes have been, the Strange Loves, the Ben and Jerry's and the Travis's. Those are the three Quick Strikes we've had so far this yeah. year. And I don't think there's been anything else. I've been fortunate, I think I've grabbed everything. You might have got most things. Um, from what I've wanted, dream scenario, you get second pair of Travis Scott's, but he's not realistic, is it? No, no, no. But no, no. I, the Safari was the only one I really, really struggled with, and it was just because uh, someone got a restock. Welcome got that second drop. Oh, right. And it was on the mailing list, and I got I missed really it. I, I missed that. I picked my, so I didn't get the original ones, and then Talker Tony, my man Talker Tony, one of them on, on flat spot. So I was like, that's what you need to do get people that are into it. So obviously I'm from Adidas community as well. Everybody in the Adidas community just was entering for me, so big up, that's what, that's what happens. So yeah, I think we'll leave it there because I need a coffee, man. Sounds and, good. And these people, like, it's starting to get busy and I'm conscious that we're taking up a ramp to talk about some trainers. And people are going, who are these dudes? Never come down to the skate park because if I start skating, I'll be breaking ankles and stuff like that. You don't <laughs> skate either, do you? Nah, it's nah, all we just take the time. Uh, thanks to Dan for coming down and making the video. Uh, I did tell you that we're going to be getting more people in uh, and doing more things uh, on, like on, on, what am I trying to say? More things on, on, in venues, you know, or like out and about, not just being sat at home in front of my fireplace or sat in the annex or, or things like that. So hopefully you've been able to hear us anyway out on the back of everyone skating in the background. Imagine we're going to get home and I'm like, damn, we can't hear us here. <laughs> So yeah, thanks for watching. Don't forget, like, subscribe, blah, blah. See you next time, Alex. Bye. You got a word.